Everything looks so nice. All laid out. You all did this? I'm impressed. So you all had to get your work to do all Uh, no. Is that your Um, going to Novi High School next year. She was on her school's student council and on her school's principal student advisory team last year. She is a really great role model for me. I also have really great friends that encourage me every day and tell me that I can do anything as long as I believe in myself. Whenever I think about giving up, they tell me to keep trying. Whenever I, I am feeling down, they cheer me up. Without them, I would not be the person I am today. They have shaped me into who I am. As you can probably tell, great friendships and lifetime bonds are always forming here at Novi Meadows. Additionally, I would like to say thank you to my amazing teachers who have taught me the seven habits of highly effective people and how to apply them in my everyday life. Over the last couple of years, I have had many leadership opportunities. In fourth grade, I had the chance to go to the Capitol building and present about how we use technology in Novi Woods to the governor of Michigan, Rick Snyder, each student who applied for the chance to go had to write an essay, and students were selected based on their spontaneous hard work. Only five students were chosen, and I was one of them. We spent the whole day at the Capitol building in, Lam in Lansing and visited the state representatives who took us to the floor of the House. We also met Senator Mike Cowell, who introduced us. Another leadership opportunity in fourth grade was being a safety. Safeties are older students who help small kids get to their school bus every day safely. In fifth grade, I was also on the Novi Meadows Student Lighthouse team. Just like. Students and teachers, if you'd like to head down to the gym, you can do so now. Just like I am now. Another leadership opportunity is being here today as the host of Leadership Day. In addition, tomorrow, the Novi Meadows Student Lighthouse team will be going to the Smith Elementary School's Leadership Day. The Novi Meadows Student Lighthouse team is a group of about 25 students combined from 5th and 6th grade. Students who apply for the Lighthouse team answer five essay questions and get an approval signature up from their teacher. Lighthouse team members are selected based on their thoughtful answers to those questions as well as their teacher's recommendations. Students who are on the Novi Meadows Student Lighthouse team in 5th grade 
must reapply to be on it in sixth grade. Our Novi Meadows Student Lighthouse team makes slideshows to share out to our staff and students about what is happening in our school. We host school-wide assemblies called PACs. You will be attending one of them today. And we have goals for school improvement that we implement throughout the year. We will share more about these goals later. Here's our agenda. From 8 to 9.30, there's the Wildcat Pack Assembly in the gym. From, from 9.30 to 9.45, tonight from 9.45, there are leadership notebook presentations in the Media Center. From 9.45 to 10.30, there are classroom visits with tour guides in 5th and 6th grade classrooms. At 10.30, there is a Q&A with the Novi Meadows Student Lighthouse team. And at 10.50, you will have a chance to fill out a survey, and that will be the conclusion of Leadership Day. Each one of you have a folder. On the right side of your folder, you have a Leadership Day agenda, a bookmark, a welcome note, and a seven habits student behavior reflection. On the left side of your folder, there is a Novi Educational Foundation flyer. Soon we will be heading to our Wildcat Pack Assembly. These assemblies are student designed and led assemblies for approximately 1,000 students. Student leaders will now escort you to the assembly in the fifth grade gym. Welcome to our Novi Meadows Leadership Day 2017. We have a great morning planned for you and we're gonna turn it over to our student lighthouse team right away and they will take it from you. I am a member of the Novi Meadows Student Lighthouse team. Please stand and join me for the pledge. Let's do 
kick off our assembly with the Campos Burnside and Grip team. Thank you. 
start any time and I get ready to help them do that. So that's something that I can't time to do and they can do as well at that. I, for example, the same, I'm going to use those exact same words. I just want to say this has been a great experience for our kindergartners to have such nice fifth graders as role models, as showing them leadership skills, kindness, sharing, all those things. You've done a fantastic job mentoring our kids.
we thought they needed it. We created a kindness calendar to give a suggestion for ways to extend kindness beyond the classroom. We had an outbound shop that gave us kindness missions during the month of December. And each week we drew classmates' names for secret kindness missions as well. Throughout all the activities our team did, we were able to spread kindness in our classroom, schools, and community. Problem. We also contacted at least one adult expert 
that could help us understand the problem and find solutions. Finally, each group decided on the solution, actions that they could take to help solve the problem. Our group's topic is hunger. We wanted to help our community with this issue. One reason people experience hunger is because people lose their jobs, which leads to poverty. Another reason is when people are in poverty, they cannot afford nutritious food. There are five big food banks in Nova that help local families. To help out with this problem, we decided we would go to one of the food banks. We volunteered at St. James Food Bank. At the food banks, we sorted food into bags for pickups. We did this on March 13th, 14th, and 19th. It felt good to help people in our community. Our group noticed a problem in our hallways. At the end of the day, there's a lot of trash left on the ground. This problem affects students, staff, custodians, and visitors to our school. To gather information about this problem, we have been going out daily and counting the trash in the fifth grade hallways. We have found that typically there are 60 to 90 pieces of trash left on the ground. We have also noticed that there are two trash cans found in the fifth grade hallways. To help solve this problem, we have been working on a commercial that raises awareness of our problem in a fun and creative way. Our group has been studying global warming. Global warming is a gradual increase in the overall temperature of the Earth's atmosphere. A layer of greenhouse gases made of water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide acts as a blanket for the Earth, absorbing heat and warming the surface. Burning fossil fuels such as coal and gas contribute to the flow. People can help by shutting off their lights after they leave a room or walking or riding instead of driving. Our group solution was to create an informational flyer to help people, to help inform people about this problem. Our group is working on the topic of returning media center books on time. Some of the facts that we gathered during our research were that there are about 16,000 books in our school. Between 200 and 800 of the books are overdue at some time during the school year. Of the books that are overdue, 100 of them don't get returned at all. It eventually will get paid for by the day's family. At this time, about 375 books are overdue. We talked with Ms. Clark to help us find a solution. A solution to the problem is to make a video that Ms. Clark can show students each year. The video will include a skit, informational tips, and the effect of not returning books on time or at home. Our group focused on the subject of homelessness. Our goal was to help people who were homeless. We found out that causes of homelessness include loss of job, mental health conditions, and more. In addition, the Detroit area has the highest homeless population in Michigan. After researching the problem, we decided to raise money for the South Oakland Shelter. To do that, we held a big sale during spring conferences. We, we were able to raise $329, which we donated to the shelter. The South Oakland Shelter was very grateful for our donation. A big thank you to those of you who bought a sweet treat from our bake sale. You made a difference. Our group noticed a problem within our community. We researched the problem and we found out that it's a bigger problem than we thought. So we wanted to help. According to Sciencing.com, litter affects animals and plants in our environment. Litter that gets into our water supply makes a toxic environment for deer and fish and other animals. In addition, litter can flow into animals' environments. The animals eat it desperately and it blocks up their digestive system and harms the ecosystem. After we researched the problem a little further, we contacted the city hall and one of the members gave us the idea of a park cleanup day. We found that Lakeshore Park has litter that needs to be cleaned up. So in a few days, on Saturday, April 22nd, we are going to Lakeshore Park to clean up. Through our service project this year, our team has learned that by daring to care, we can all make a difference.
Our book club is made up of Novi fellows and other Novi teachers around the uh, district, and they're going to be so thrilled. I'm going to meet a lot of them today and tomorrow. And we'll be passing out the books to them so that we can supply the little libraries at Eastern Market, as you saw. So now, when you go down to Eastern Market, be sure to see the little library. It's over on the Izzy Boys you saw. And now you own a little bit of it because you all contributed to it. So thank you so very much.
Thomas. Next, we have Buffy Gore and Meadows Minions.
We did this because our team has a connection to this. Mrs. Veronic and Mrs. Turpak, Mr. Turpak's wife, had both been diagnosed with breast cancer. There was a walk that took place where people raised money to help people with breast cancer, and we encourage you to do the same in the future as well. I have had a lot of family members and close friends have breast cancer, and it was really hard for me because everyone was in and out of the hospital, and I didn't know what was happening. I also could get to them, and now that I forget what happened, I'm really happy with my child and my team is done to help. We asked people in our class if breast cancer has affected somebody close to their life. 21 out of 56 people raised their hand. And if we compare that to school, it's a lot. We would like to introduce you to our breast cancer video. We worked really hard on it.
Thank you. Can we please have Ms. Brown, me and Ms. Brown, and join us down here?
small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. Now, let's continue to dare to care. Remember, always be the best leader you can be. Please stay seated for dismissal instructions from Ms. Mr. Berkey. Awesome, thank you. First of all, you did an absolutely fantastic job this morning. Uh, well over a thousand students in one space for this amount of time is not an easy task to accomplish. You've done it exceptionally well, and we're very proud of you. In a moment, we're going to release, and this is, this is going to be a little bit different than we typically do uh, because we have so many guests with us today. So in a moment, what's going to happen is we're going to ask our guests to please stand up and head out of the gym. Uh, I guess if you could uh, do that right now, we'd appreciate it. Everyone else, we're going we're to stay tight for a second, and then we're going to uh, help you find your, find your way out. What's happening today? This is our leadership day. And so we have guests from the community who are here to learn more about what we're doing. Thank you. This is the year. So Y'all saw that. Our personal so meditation. Thanks you guys for a while. Thank you. So, um, we have a party to share our video. And the first one was anything that we can do to get in the seat. So, um, yeah. my first one was um, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Well, I our leadership notebook presentations, we will all now visit various classrooms. Our tour guides will help you find classrooms, and they are all wearing Seven Habits lanyards. Be sure to ask your tour guide any questions that you have about Novi Meadows. You can visit both the fifth and sixth grade houses. Please be back in the Media Center by 10.30 for the Q&A with the Novi Meadows Student Lighthouse team. Okay. Got it now. Our assembly went a little long. 
and we leave for lunch in 20 minutes. So we're gonna, I'm gonna let these leaders decide where our stations are gonna be. Um, we're gonna practice some skills. We have a test coming up next week, but if, really? but we also know that tomorrow we have our M step, and so we thought maybe it would be a good idea to just jiggle our brains and find all that stuff we've been working on earlier this year. Let's try that again. One, two, three. Recognize. Recognize. Better. Okay. Yoshi, let's wait a few minutes, please. Headphones off. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Recognize. It is a verb. If you are not sure, make your best guess. If you are not sure, make your best guess. Okay? So an F or an S. F for federal, S for state. If they're both, put both of them down. So you have orchestra how many times a week? Um, Tuesday, Thursday, and then every other Friday. Tuesday, Thursday, every other Friday, and then the band is on the piano. Yeah. So what instruments do you guys play? I play bass, he plays cello. Oh my gosh, this is cello. Very cool, beautiful instruments. Wow. These are very nice. opportunities and to help kids become leaders at Novi Meadows, to help bring bullying awareness improvement, and to do community service. It's now time for the Novi Meadows Student Lighthouse Team Q&A. Any questions? <laughs> Uh, could one of you tell me uh, what your favorite <coughs> habit is and why? Um, my favorite habit is habit six because I really like working together in groups. <laughs> habit six synergize. <laughs> Does anybody else like to answer that? Okay. <laughs> my favorite is put first things first because instead of I, when I think about when I first go on and watch TV first I think about the habit and then I remember that I should probably finish my homework and it really helps me helps me be more efficient. 
my favorite habit is be proactive because I believe that you should um, always like be prepared and uh, just help out and um, yeah, just be prepared. Any other questions? Yeah. yeah. I asked our, our tour guide what her favorite part of Nail by Meadows is, and she said the freedom of even the things like walking in the halls without being led to, to her special. So what are your some of your favorite things about Nail by Meadows? Um, I would agree to that. I also like how you get the opportunity for a band of orchestra and to play an instrument. I agree with that. I think there's a lot of opportunities here for no matter who you are, like they have many things and different, whatever you like, they have. I also like how we're like super diverse here because I mean, I understand why other schools have that, but I think we're like really nice and diverse. Um, I like the team teachers because you get to work with your team and do a, a lot of activities. And my favorite part of the experience of fire is we visit camp. Okay. Any you had a question? Sure. What specifically, or how specifically, have the seven habits helped you at school and at home? Well, they've given us reminders that there's always a chance to be better, and you don't always have to, you have to be good when nobody's watching, so, and you have to always stick together and work with your friends to run the small things that can become something bigger. An example of that is like putting first things first because like that helps us in school because um, instead of like playing games we can focus on our homework, get late, and that would like help us like keep <coughs> things and like turn our work like, on time and stuff like that. And yeah, for me it just becomes part of your life. Personally, for doing seven habits for seven years, it just gets like straight in your brain and then you come home from school and you're like I have to do my homework and I have to do this and all these extra things so uh, it just comes part of your life and it's easier every time. Yeah I also agree with him like another example is for having six synergize. We have something called packs and our whole team works together um, doing our packs like we just had a pack assembly this morning. Sorry. <laughs> so also um for habit one, to be responsible, we have to re be responsible for things, other people's things, and also um, we have to let, be responsible for our work, and yeah. Yeah, how are the packs set up? Um, so every, like, couple, every month or so, we, um, like, set up, set aside time to work with our team and synergize at like using the seven habits or a bunch of different things that like uh, one of the packs we um, planned uh, something that we were going to do to help the community but we do different things in all teams so we find service projects to do too and help out around the school and help the and this year a pack thing is dare to care so yeah, we saw those presentations about everybody trying to help out the community and everybody around us. It's so, like one group helped like an orphanage and then my team, we went to kindergarten, <coughs> so many different things. You had a question? Yeah. Um, is the <coughs> Lighthouse something that you were chosen for by your teacher or something or um, something that so you <laughs> <laughs> So um, what happens is we fill out an application and um, uh, like all the teachers put in input where and then the staff layouts team helps decide right and yeah that's basically the essay um the um application we had to fill out had six essays for like little qu like questions that you had to like describe how you're a leader how you can use the same and it's the uh, teachers have never met you and they're testing that whatever you wrote is true also <laughs> and you have to write and show that you are want to be a leader and you want to join the team and the um, applications also go through all your specials teachers also. Yeah. Every teacher and uh, what you wanted to change in the school, what you liked last year uh, if you were a sixth grader, and what you think should change. Uh, I personally said I think we should uh, like try harder for PACs. We did good last year, but get everything together, all everybody in a special part. And my team, we personally all had jobs in it. So I think that helped a lot.
How often do you guys meet? We meet like twice, <coughs> once or twice a month. Oh, on Tuesdays. Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions? Yeah? Is this a one year or two year commitment? So um, what happens is you apply each year. So there's fifth and sixth grade and you apply, book, um, so fifth graders apply one year and if they get on, then they're on for that year. But when they go into sixth grade, they have to apply again. Some of us are um, two time Student Lighthouse team members. So Farheen is, and I am, I think that's. And Alicia. And Alicia. Alicia. Yeah. And then also, um, like, so for the when they pick the people who go on the White House team, they don't like pick the twenty four um like best applications. Like they have to um, split it evenly, like six fifth fifth grade boys, six fifth grade girls, six sixth grade boys and six sixth grade girls. If you're a sixth grader now and um, last year you were on the White House team and you didn't get selected, it like some people said that it, they thought it was because um, they were just on the team and they tried their best to help, but the thing is they didn't like participate as much, and so maybe that could have been what they said, like why they weren't on the team again. How do you think this has affected like your study skills, your homework? Is it hard to manage all of your work? So when I when we do like a bunch of presentations and we present to uh, like the pack assemblies and stuff, and that's really about just my public speaking and my confidence. So it, my, it's, before I used to talk really, really fast and I used to get nervous. After doing the presentations like this, I taught, I learned my public speaking and my confidence. Yeah. <laughs> and it also um, helps us um, create bonds and. Um, Teamwork. It also includes our leadership. Like a tiny little family of leaders. <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah. yeah. Are you split into different pack groups? Are you? Um, do you represent each like a different team? And um, every team yeah. has like a different topic. Like each team yeah. has a different topic. But we it doesn't also, really really we really 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 also really have two else. groups. We have a community service group and a bullying awareness group. Um, in the NMSLT. Yeah, it's in the yeah. NMSLT. We split up. So one during I don't remember which meeting it was. We split up into two separate groups. We had the bullying awareness and we have the community service. I personally am in the community service and the community service. We do stuff like to raise awareness for the school, and like we did also did a toilet paper run. So we had a competition for the teams. Whoever could collect the most toilet paper, the toilet paper would be donated. We would get a pizza party. The top, we would get a pizza party, and we I don't think we collected a lot of toilet paper. So that was the community service. Um, for the bullying awareness, we did a video and um, a PowerPoint. Yeah. We call them our action teams because it's things that we all agree on that we think that we can at least help try to prevent, like bullying, by raising awareness. In our bullying video, we actually had a victim, which is Barry, in that video. <laughs> we had a bystander, small standers, and we had um, the bullies, of course. Yeah. And uh, that, I think that's going to really help with everything. And then after that, we had everybody come together and say why in the action team. And we did another video saying what we think bullying should, why we think we should change bullying and how we should change it. And I think Sahil is doing a really great job because he has his own website about bullying awareness. And it's more, um, it's getting more popular as younger grades are getting more phones and things. It's able to be contacted on the phone to um, create it online and mold someone online. So it's really a problem we really do address. Any other questions? Sorry, I'm not. <laughs> How involved would you say your teachers are? Would you say you guys do most of the work? Well, um, <laughs> Each of each of our teachers, they uh, so um, for he makes slideshows we and like powerpoints, and they get sent out to our teachers, which we can share with our class, our team, and um, 
sometimes the teachers do it, but sometimes we have to like say, did you get this PowerPoint? And then we share it to the team so we can like keep them updated on what we're doing. And Miss um, Sorensen, she organizes um, the stuff for us and she, like when we were splitting into our groups, she helped us and she helped us organize. I would say it's a, stu I would say it's a student like group, but we do a lot of the stuff we synergize together. And also every lunch, we have something called lunches. So like in the first week of every month, we talk about what we do and what we do in the meetings and we discuss the end. So we tell what we do over there to our classmates. In some of the slideshows, Barty makes um, going to our hex. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I think uh, one of the questions was how the, the teachers and the students are. The students interact with the students and the teachers help with the teachers, so it's just uh, interaction between the two groups. You just proved that we don't have to be adults to make a difference. Everyone can make a difference. Whether they make a Anything else? Yep. I have a question. Um, you came from an elementary school program. How much of that did you do to work up to get you ready for this program? Um, I, we had actually at our other schools, I went to Orchard Hills, and we had the, and it's me and Sydney, and we were salt shakers, which was like the Lighthouse team, and we worked together, and we had, we had, we had orchards, and we worked together, and we met after orchards. And we actually learned a lot of what we did here actually comes from what I do in this team. I remember what I did, I, what I learned from when I was a Oh, I know. <laughs> I went to Deerfield and what we did. So we had um, this thing called um, team time at first, which is sort of like packs. And then, uh, so you were sent to like a different or the same classroom, and then you would like sort of like do stuff each time, like you'd meet each month and do and each month was on a different habit of the seven habits. And then there was also a lighthouse team at yeah. our school. So different different um, elementary schools do different a leadership group opportunities. Um, so Deerfield did the um, student lighthouse team and other schools did other things that I think the whole Nova Community District, we have focused on the seven habits to prepare us like um, for life and like that we can take these skills until we're like adults and like as we grow older we're always going to use these skills. So it's great to start at an early age so we can like take these, these skills on like on our life. So um, last year me and Sonia were on the pledge team at Deerfield and like that kind of I guess helped us because we do a lot of speaking on the NMSLT and we have to do that at the so pledge team too. Yeah. And, like, how fast we speak. Mm -hmm. Yes? Uh, I agree with uh, I agree with Alicia about how we said she said that we start at a young age so that as we get older we don't only use some habits, we we also spread the seven habits so that not only us, not only our Novi, Novi Community School District, we learn the seven habits, but we spread it to other people who can learn that school, but we cannot start learning it from us. Most of Novi supports the seven habits. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It was a good uh, answer. So I used to live here, but then I moved. But now we are back, and I have a little sister. She goes to Parkview. And then like one day she came and she's like, Sackle, do you know about the seven habits? And I'm like, yeah, I'm on the lighthouse. Team. And then <laughs> I, I think that Parkview, like, I bet every elementary school does this, but her, um, my sister, she would sing things like, sing, like, they, they would just basically make teaching the seven habits to the kindergartners, they would make it fun. Yeah, I was in Parkview, we had a seven habits song every day in the park or something like what they do in Deerfield. I, I was in Noah Wood so that we had something like dens, which is like sort of like where we where we all have an assigned teacher and then we meet and like we sort of like talk about leadership and have a bit of fun. And in Noah Wood, even when you were going to your den class, you were like you had a buddy depending on what grade you are, so you would have a buddy and so you would take your little buddy to your den class and it was really nice and we'd be listening to songs and just singing along and it was really fun. And I think, uh, like Ben said, we got assigned different teachers and I think that helped a lot because you didn't really know anybody in those uh, 
special seven habits groups that and that helped with like making new friends easier and just being able to communicate better. Um, let's see if there's any other questions. I think you started to answer my question, which is how is it different at Meadows now compared to those things you talked about in your K4 building? Well, um, things are more complicated here. So, um, <laughs> um, in our um, elementary schools, we learn the seven habits, and here we finally start applying them to our everyday lives. Mm -hmm. um, also, at Orchard House, it was more of introducing them when you were in elementary, introducing them and how to use them daily and how they can support you wherever you, wherever you are. And then, as you, when you come to Meadows, they encourage to use them more often instead of just introducing them. And also in your elementary schools, um, the teachers take you most of the places now, but at Meadows, you're more independent. <clears throat> Any other questions? Yeah. Um, it's kind of a two-parter. So for the adults in the room that don't know, for the first time this year, we, um, we had a student leadership summit here at Meadows, and so we invited two other student lighthouse teams from elementary schools outside of Novi. And so we brought all, all three lighthouse teams together to talk about issues that they face in school and how they can help solve their issues, um, which is I know where part of the bullying focus came from for these guys. So keeping that, that experience in your head, how do you think you've grown as a leader this year? Because that was, I mean, that was quite a while ago when we did that, right? I mean, that was right, right around Thanksgiving. So how do you feel like you've grown as a leader this year? I'm just curious what your thoughts the are. The Student Lighthouse team has helped us, um, well, me grow as a leader very much. I'm sure it help, it's helped lots everybody. Because like it, we really focus on how we can be a better leader in our everyday lives and just how to um, just be respectful and good leader. Any other questions? Yes. So it's kind of related to that. So if earlier somebody mentioned that you're going to Smith tomorrow. Yes. Yes. So are all of you going? Yeah. Well, most of us. What is your purpose for going there tomorrow? They, they, we're going to their leadership day yeah. and we're just going to observe how their student house team works and how um, so you are not standing up in front of the school and talking? Or I don't know. Oh, they didn't tell you? I don't know. I was curious what your role was. We have Novi Woods. Um, okay. Major 4 building. Um, we have Student Lighthouse Team Meadows. Um, Are you satisfied with the goals you've achieved so far? Yeah. 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 We, we, I think we, you're doing a tremendous job. Yeah. Thank you. Actually, at the beginning of the year, Ms. Sorensen, on one of our first meetings, we all set up a bunch of goals. And on Tuesday, we actually found that we accomplished all of our goals. We also, um, <laughs> one of our goals was to provide leadership opportunities for um, our school. and. A way we did that was we provided we um, like leadership jobs around the school. One of them was like to pick up trash in the commons, um, to hold the doors for people who come in in the morning, and flag people. The flag people. There's there's a leader, bunch of them. And we, we had the sign up sheets at lunch, and that was one of our goals. We also uh, achieved our action teams, the community service and the bullying awareness. <laughs> And our time is running out. Um, we, we can do one more question. I just wanted to, if your theme this year was Dare to Care, what was it last year? Uh, uh, remember? All of me is drug free, it's, I think. No, it's no by Meadows. Making, making, making a difference. A difference. Oh, a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Some of you were here and some of you yeah. were here. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. So our oh, that was that was one of the presentations. Yes. Yeah. Can I ask one question? I, I mean, I think this just truly I mean, is, is 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 amazing to see students doing this and, and being able to you know be leaders in this. So unfortunately, my question is not as much for you, um, but my question is more from an educator administrative standpoint. As can you talk just briefly in some examples of kind of like the 
pre leader and me and kind of some of the changes you've seen in, in, in from, a, from a district or from a, uh, a Meadows standpoint and kind of what, what has occurred in the transition? Absolutely. So, you know, what's, what's interesting is I, I have friends in many places, not just Novi, that, you know, they have leader and me in place. What, what's very nice about the Meadows situation is we get every fifth, gra every fifth grader here is th this is it. This is all of Novi, fifth grade and sixth grade. So the hard work that the elementaries have been doing K-4, we're getting students, and this happened before any of you were here, this happened I think about four years ago. We had a conversation with our students and we said, you know, hey, how do, how's this working, how do you like it? And they, they said to us, we know the habits, stop teaching us the habits. <laughs> but I think that helps answer your question. They, they were coming to us, they know the habits. They wanted us to turn them loose so they could use what they had learned. And so it's really, well, it's really pushed us as adults because, you know, one of the scariest things to do as an educator, as a teacher, as a principal, as a, is, is to let go of that control. Once you let go of it, they, they will not disappoint. They're fabulous. They're not going to disappoint us. We just have to trust ourselves enough to let them lead. And what we have been rewarded with, with letting them lead, is what you see today. Um, I was talking to Dr. Matthews, he had to leave, he's our superintendent for those of you who don't know. The thing that I appreciate probably the most about how this leadership day is set up is how much of a part in it they have and that how, how much of it is not scripted. You know, what you're seeing, like this is Novi Meadows, come back tomorrow, you'll see the exact same thing minus a table at the front door with the sign machine. <laughs> it's our building, this is what we do, every day, all day. and. It happens that way because of what's happening, K-4, because of the wonderful Student Lighthouse teams that we have at all of our elementary schools that are doing this hard work with their classmates at a younger age. And so, you know, as our sixth graders leave, I mean, we, we are sending some very capable thinkers, feelers, and leaders into our community. And um, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty remarkable thing to watch from, from my seat. And I'd like to say, as a teacher here who's been here 22 years, um, the assembly today um, was it, it's obviously impressive. I had nothing to do with it. We had no, it's, it's the students and the teams who were sharing the service projects. But that wasn't all of the service that was happening this year at Novi Meadows. That was just some of them. Our last assembly, we heard just as many. And so this is something that's been happening now for two years, our mm -hmm. whole school assembly. I remember when we sat down and said, let, let's get the whole school together in one room and start having assemblies together run by the students. I remember how worried we are, we were about getting all of them in there on time, having it run smoothly, and we figured it out, they figured it out, and I'm amazed at what we've done in the last two years with that. Um, so definitely we've seen some changes that are very positive, and uh, you, what you saw today is, is what's happening, and we all got to see it too, because we don't know everything that's going on in every, every classroom all the time. Another thing that I would also mention is, um, and a couple of the students mentioned it, they said it better than I'm about to say it. The actual language of the habits and the thoughts behind, it's not something that we're consciously thinking about to get across in a day. It's just part of our language now. It's just part of how we ask questions now. Um, you know, I, I have kids all the time, hey, Mr. Brady, this is a great win-win because, I mean, it's just, it's just how they think. It's how their brain works now. Um, and because of that, there's a nice common language piece that when they all come to Meadows as fifth graders, we, you know, um, Jesse's my counselor, you know, we go, we meet with the fourth graders everywhere, we meet with all the teachers, but the first day of school as a fifth grader, every fifth grader is a new kid here. Whether they've been in Novi forever or they haven't, every kid's a new kid. Many of them are coming from the K-4 buildings and they all have this common language thread and this common way of thinking that connects all of them right away. So that first time they sit in class, the first time their teacher says, okay, we're gonna be proactive and get going, as soon as they hear proactive, oh, okay, I feel at home. And so that kind of goes back to the community that you guys are talking about. I mean, it's just, it's, it's part of the fabric of, of who these kids are now. And we get to reap the rewards of that as the adults that have the pleasure of working with them every day. It makes it a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. so thanks for the question, that's great. So sadly, our time is coming to a close, but before we leave, We'd like to say thank you to Mrs. Sorensen because none of this would have happened without her. She's our
she, she organizes all our meetings and she helps the Student Lighthouse team a lot. She's, she's really, she's great. So now we will be taking um, a short survey in the media center. Uh, the computers are set up, and we'd like to thank you for letting us show you how we are Nove Meadows during to care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.